Today on Taumata TV, we check out what learners across Taumata have been up to in their first couple of days of Term 2. We take a look at what it looks like to be respectful and considerate when getting attention from your peers. And for our learning celebration, we head to Otani Wainuku to check out what we've been up to for this week. This is Tomata TV. Welcome to our first episode of Term 2. Well, Hobbs wasted no time this term getting back into the learning we're doing here at school. Let's head around our learning space to see what you've been up to this week, Tomata. Welcome back, this is Tomata TV. As you know, Potama is a segment on our show where we look at the positive behaviour for learning. That's right, positive, positive behaviour for learning is one of the ways we're empowering students to learn and empowering them for life. Today, being respectful and considerate when we're getting the attention of your mates. Check this out. For this week's Potama segment, our focus is communication. This is not how we communicate with our friends in class. Let's try that again. When communicating with someone in class, be sure to go up to them and speak kindly and respectfully. This is not how we ask for help. No. Mila, what can I help with? When asking for help, don't yell at the teacher. Put your hand up or go and see them. You don't understand. Okay, so. Great work, Tomata. We're all looking forward to seeing how you are respectful and considerate you are when getting the attention of your peers. At Tomata, we embrace learning through play in our junior hub. Our upper primary hub are exploring, mid exploring project based learning. Our hub, Otani Wainuku, are in the midst of working through project learning. Let's take a quick look. At Tomata, we follow our project process. A project process always begins with unpacking a challenging problem or question we may have. For Term 1, our question has been, what factors contribute to making our Tūranga Waiwai? Tūranga Waiwai is the standing place where you have the right to belong through kinship and whakapapa. It's the place where you have a sense of identity associated with it as a home base. We then get into research and ask lots of questions to deeply understand our topic. After that, we decide how we might dis want to display our learning and the understanding of the topic. Then we pitch our idea to the class and get feedback from our peers and from the learning coaches. 
So my two dollar YY is on my house and I'm doing it in Minecraft because I mean I've doing Minecraft forever <laughs> and stuff. My Tsuranga YY is Delhi and to showcase it I am making a menu and I'm making a restaurant, a mini restaurant at school for the teachers and the chosen students. So my Tsuranga YY is Kimberly and I'm going to be doing a food platter for it. This food platter will be do uh, doing all the kind of food that I used to eat and love in my hometown. My Tsuranga YY is Scar Lane and I'm planning to make a two a two-tier cake with the different things that show factors that contribute to it. My Tiranga Waiwa is Finlay Park and I am presenting it through Keynote. I'll be drawing lots of pictures about the key places of that place and then I'll put it into an iMovie and just make a little... Then we prototype our project begin and begin create creating it, reflecting and tasting it along the way and making necessary changes. Re reflection is really important as it helps us tr to track our learning and see the pro progress we've made. It also shows us what our next steps are along the way. And finally, we share it with the world. Next week, we will be sharing our Tsuranga YY project. Come, come check them out. Well done, Otani Wainuku. Ka We now cross over to Mrs. Fuller for this week's principal chat. Kia ora everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Taumata TV. Welcome back to Term 2. It's so great to have everybody back on our school site. Today, what I'm drawing your attention to is our school uniform. The weather is changing, which means it's getting a bit cooler, but it's really important that we stay true to our amazing school uniform. So I've got two helpers here today. I've got Rui and Kayana, who are perfectly in our school uniform. You can see they've got their hoodies on because it is cooler. Short shorts, black shoes, that's what we're looking for. We have chosen this uniform because it looks stunning when we are all wearing what we should be. As it does get colder, we are allowed to wear track pants, but they need to be either a dark grey or a black colour. Okay, And I'd save those track pants for those really cold days because our spaces are amazing and warm. So really it's just when you're getting to school in the morning to keep you warm. But look how amazing they look. Really proud in our school Tomata uniform and looking stunning here today. Thank you guys. Thanks Mrs Fuller. Great to hear from you. Well that brings us to the end of the show for today. Have an awesome weekend. Mā te wā. Talking to you.